In antenna discussions, it's very common for the subject of SWR to come up. Unfortunately, it's not very common to discuss the importance of SWR or even what SWR really means. And even more rare is the subject of axial ratio even discussed. I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy. In this video, I want to investigate the importance of SWR and axial ratio on an FPV video feed. Before we go on, we need to discuss a few terms. The first is axial ratio. Axial ratio is the ability of an antenna to rotate the signal property, and this is expressed as a ratio as the dominant component, in these examples, right hand rotation, versus the recessive component, which is left hand. SWR, or more appropriately VSWR, stands for Voltage Standing Wave Ratio. This is also a ratio which measures the impedance of the antenna by expressing it as a ratio of what is put out of the antenna versus what is reflected back at the transmitter. And that's what this analyzer is showing right here. This is the reflected coefficient compared to what goes out. And this antenna, the ion which is built properly, has a reflected coefficient of minus 33 dB, which is excellent. But we can translate this directly to SWR by simply changing the settings. As you can see, that translates to an SWR of 1.045. So now we can compare to an ion that I deliberately detuned for poor SWR, but maintain proper axial ratio. As you can see, this SWR is 3.0, which is kind of bad, actually. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not optimal. Well, what about this antenna with no parasitic elements like the ion has? Okay, that is an SWR of 1.28, but without the parasitic elements like this one has, it has no ability to rotate the signal. So let's go outside to my backyard and fly these and see what they do to the video. Okay, so the first test we need to do is figure out which affects the video feed more, axial ratio or SWR. And to do that, on this monitor, I have the antenna with a 1.2 SWR, but no axial ratio because it has no parasitic elements. And on this one, I have an antenna with a 3.1 SWR, but good axial ratio, that is, it has the parasitic elements. Which one will do better? Well, I really don't know, but there's one way to find out. Let's go fly. You can see from the instant I take off that the antenna on the left is getting hit by multipath interference. That is, because it has no axial ratio and no ability to reject reverse polarized signals, the signals bouncing off the ground and the house behind me are interfering with the signal. However, as I make my way out to the trees and the edge of the receiver, the tables turn. Out here, the reflected signals are too weak to get into the receiver, so they aren't interfering. However, the poor SWR of the antenna on the right is starting to show up, which causes it to start to lose signal. But on the way back, we can see the antenna on the left, the one with good SWR and no axial ratio, is once again getting hit by multipath interference. I was surprised to find that both antennas perform similarly when blocking the Fresnel zone, that is, flying behind a tree. I figured the axial ratio would do better, but that's obviously not the case. For my second test, I decided to test a properly made ion against my one that I deliberately detuned for poor SWR. When flying behind objects, I notice that the one made properly does indeed hold on a lot better. It also appears to hold on a lot better at range and at low altitude. As I'm back here, I'm diving behind this little barn and this section of trees. Although the one with poor SWR seems to be doing just fine, a lot better than I expected. On the way back, flying low altitude, I don't see any difference between one made properly and one deliberately detuned for poor SWR. So I decided to fly behind myself and see what the signal did when punching it through the house. Now watch my lack of talent show up here. The fact that I made this is nothing but pure luck. You can see that the properly made ion is holding on a little bit better, but they're both struggling pretty bad. But what should I expect when punching a signal through a house? Now we need to compare the properly made ion with the one with no parasitic elements. 
We could see that the instant I take off, once again, the antenna with no axial ratio, that is the one on the left with no parasitic elements, is getting hit by multipath interference, just like the previous time we flew it. Although this time it appears to be doing a little bit better, but that's probably just because I'm not flying the exact same flight path. Like the previous flight, I decided to test this one for low altitude and distance to see what the difference was. I was surprised to see the unit with no parasitic elements getting hit a lot harder than this time than it was the last, although the antenna built right obviously is doing much, much better. On the way back, I decided to tease the Fresnel zone again by flying behind these trees back here. The antenna built properly, of course, is doing better, which makes sense because it has the benefit of both axial ratio and SWR. Once again, I decided to fly behind my house, but this time not get so close to the power lines. Again, axial ratio and SWR is better than SWR alone. Okay, one last test just for kicks. A dummy load versus no antenna at all. A dummy load has perfect SWR, but its whole point is to kill the signal, which obviously it does well. Of course, having no antenna at all isn't far behind it. Both signals went out at short range, even at 200 milliwatts. Okay, so what's our takeaway from this experiment? What did we learn? Well, the most obvious thing we learned is that an antenna built properly is going to outperform one built improperly in every situation. However, we also learned the difference between SWR and axial ratio and how it pertains to your video. At close range, axial ratio appears to be the dominant factor. It also appears to be the dominant factor when flying at low altitude. However, when flying at distance, SWR appears to be more important. Of course, the most important thing to an antenna is its radiation plot. I might be crazy, and as always, keep them flying.